You yeah. already got your run in. <laughs> I didn't know <laughs> he had I was to first. Run backstage. You, you missed that, but that's okay. Studies show Monday is the least liked day of the week, but on GDL, we love it because Mondays allow us to kick things off and start the week out right. Thanks to Jeff Howard of Baptist Health Milestone Wellness Center. Jeff joins us this morning, as he does every week, with a bit of Monday motivation. But before we get there, Jeff, let's talk about what you threw down on Friday. It was the GDL weekend workout challenge. It was a great challenge. I had so many people responded that if they and didn't come videos yeah from the weather if they couldn't get out in the weather they decided to do it once or twice people didn't come to the gym they did it i had people reach out to me they thought it could have been a little bit harder which i don't know i thought it was okay hey 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 now hey now I know. <laughs> you wanted something to bring along all of us and some of us are still getting back into it but i loved that i saw a video on your facebook page from someone who had set up the camera and said that it was a family affair it was for me as well Good, good, good. How did so, they do at home? Did they do okay? I mean, one thing that you should not do is try to take on Jeff's workout challenges when you have a 10-week-old puppy. By the way, so, I'm loving, loving the pup. Is it still, is it potty break? Barry, Anything yet? Barry, um, we're still working on potty training, but he's been a dream puppy. D adopted him last Sunday from the Kentucky Humane Society. And I have to say, one of the best things, and I knew this already, we have three cats, three dogs, mm. multiple animals over the decades, but it's getting us outside and more active even more as a family so love it i mean there's no better exercise than getting a new dog no. or a pet or or getting engaged like caitlin did i mean something will I mean, help you become active they all throw i mean <laughs> right? they all fit together so today today's what are we gonna doing? be about you know I, the number two things i always get asked about are abs and arms and with spring break around the corner. I wanted to give you seven new exercises that I kind of love right now for the abs and arms combination. You're in a dress, so you won't be probably coming to the floor with me. Okay. I'm just gonna show you quickly. Not probably, Jeff, probably I can not. guarantee that. All I want is if you were to take anything, it could be weights sure. or it could be anything that's similar to that. Okay. All I care about is we bring the hands behind us, we bring it up, tap, up, yep. tap. That's all it is. So it could be a pot, it could be a plant, but the abdominal wall is gonna be recruiting and my arms are actually doing a tricep dip as I'm doing the exercise. So that would be version one. The next one would be basically, it's very simple. You take one weight and you go crunch, switch, crunch, okay. switch. So with each movement that we're crunching up, the abdominal wall's having to recruit and I'm distributing the weight completely differently. Mm -hmm. The other one would be a flutter kick, which is for the lower abdominal wall. You do four flutters, you switch, four flutters, and you switch. Okay. Okay? So those so far, are kind of intense. Sure. Trust me, right now I'm like, what have I just done to my body? <laughs> <laughs> the next one, of course, is gonna be, no big deal, we're gonna do a press, row, press. I would love to see you do this with your shoulder right now. But I mean, I think dress. I actually could. I think I'd struggle a little bit. I'm still building back that, back that strength, but I'm, I'm getting there. Much better. How did you do with the 8 o'clock, not eating past 8 o'clock challenge we did? Can I give myself some applause? Because that is not it? always easy. That's, did you do it? It's not easy, I think, on the weekend because that's, you just have a tendency to want to cheat. But right. yes, not only did I do it, I'll share next week a photo of my husband. He's been doing it. You introduced me to the Faster Way to Fat Loss um, coach, Morgan Moyer. That's what I did. Good. I bought um, packages for both of us, and now we're on it, but just a little bit modified Good. to fit our needs. And it's ridiculous how much, how quickly he was able to drop 20 pounds. Well, I have one more challenge for our people at home. Okay. Okay. Love this is regarding food, yep. and the challenge is this: I don't want you any longer to buy treats or snacks. No more buying them. Look at my face. What? I know. What? What? Let it dwindle down. Okay. What are we replacing it with? You're going to replace it with healthier foods, vegetables popcorn, things that are a little bit lower calorie. Sure, sure. But here's my process. Don't have it in the house anymore, but if you really want it and you have to get in your car to get it, then you can have it. I love that, okay. So it's a basic thing. You have to make a little bit more effort then to get that special treat or whatever. So get rid of it, finish it out um, for the week. I want you guys to try to get rid of everything like that and then not buy it again, but if you want it, get in your car. You've gotta make yourself work for it. Get it and get a sample size. Don't get the whole thing. Why? It's amazing. When somebody says you can't have something, what do you want? That. Absolutely. So it's amazing how if you just taste something that you're thinking you want, you'll be curbed. Okay. I, I love that. And can we just address really quickly in the last 30 seconds here, one of the things getting older that I have not been a super fan of is I never gained weight in my arms. And ah. now I've gained weight in my arms. 
doing the exercises you showed, yes. that helps, but diet. Diet will help with Cardio. that as well. Cardio, I hate to say it. A lot of times we think that abdominal exercise like I just showed you is gonna give you the six pack and help with weight loss. It's not. I gotta food, get rid of the cover first. Food, food is the key, guys. Everybody All has right. it. You just gotta watch what we're eating, kids. I always say that we're lucky to be getting older because the other option is not fantastic. No, it's not. All right, I know you're gonna stick around. You can take Jeff Howard's classes at Baptist Health Milestone Wellness Center off Cypress Station Drive in St. Matthews. This segment has been sponsored by Milestone Wellness Center, where the first class is free when you sign up. Up, just go to baptismilestone.com.